Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Thor News presents. It is June 19th, 2014. The one-year asteroid of the Grand Asteroid Challenge. And it's really grand in name only. Because nobody really talks about it. And it really doesn't get any press. There's no continuing conversation going on in any part of the media about asteroids being a potential clear and present danger. Or understanding how some things can only be seen in like infrared light or ultraviolet light, a unclear and present danger. That was the narrative before, but now that NASA's more worried about climate change, nobody's really talking about it. And I'm afraid on the one year anniversary, I guess this means me and Amy Mainzer's partnership is breaking up. Not that it was ever that strong in the first place, their partnership, you know. I mean, I think I have been 100% genuine in trying to ignite the public's interest in uh, astronomy and the potential dangers that outer space brings. That we need a clear plan and we need to understand our solar system better. Space exploration is still one of the things, maybe the only thing, that people should be able to unite around. So I've done my dangdest through my real job and my YouTube channel. Worked about 80 hours a week for the last year and six months. I've made countless videos on asteroids. I can't even get a fucking tweet from Amy Mainzer. Phil Plates over at the Slate as the bad astronomer on bad astronomy. Talking about climate change pretty much every day. If I had to guess without doing the proper math and taking all that time to count them all. Good enough. Phil's written maybe 300 articles on anti-vaxxers and climate change deniers. And from what I could tell, two articles on debunking false stories about asteroids being danger. And zero stories on the danger of asteroids. So man, I accepted the Grand Asteroid Challenge. PR guy. Dangers of asteroids. Yeah. So, you know, forgive me, but at times I feel like I'm getting... Harlem shaked Gangnam style. Nothing ever happens. Um, either A, you know, all the asteroid data is bullshit, and that's exactly why our government and our politicians who have access to all the top security data don't give a crap about researching or putting up some type of space program. Climate change, the top of their list. Killer asteroids, detecting them and stopping them at the bottom of their list. I can't even get a tweet from the Neo Hunter. You know, that's weird, being Neo. Phil's talking about everything but asteroids. If they mention the asteroid challenge, I imagine it'll come after this video comes out, or while it's being made. When there are events scheduled on the anniversary of the Grand Asteroid Challenge, the 19th and the 20th. So it's like, why do I feel like the only person on this team? Man, why do I feel like kind of a dummy? I mean, are asteroids like a passe danger? Yeah, that was the cool thing that could have been dangerous for the last decade or so. But oh no, there's a chance an 800 foot tidal wave might hit us tomorrow. Asteroids? No, not a chance. I'm like, I'm so confused. You know? So congratulations, everybody. This is one heck of a party. Man. Sometimes I frown a little because there's a certain element of people interested in astronomy who are only like, is it going to kill us? And then, like, no. Did anybody die? Uh, no. Okay, I'm not interested. Beer monger. And it's like, you know, life is both simple and complex. Right, right? No, I know. Okay, so the Beast story about asteroid 2014 HQ Hummer Queen 124. The story itself was a beast. And I referred to in my other video that to be a beast, you gotta have moving parts. And, well, the media is a beast, and it's got moving parts. And some of those moving parts breathe. But most of them just copy and paste. Zing! Seriously, the state of astronomer journalism is mostly just copy and paste. And so, it was like, the asteroid, nicknamed the Beast, and then Amy Mainzer, you know, the head of JPL's Neowise division, the one who blocked Neo on Twitter, me. And I guess she's dating the telescope, because it blocked me too, and I never even tweeted it, man. That's weird. Okay, so she was like, 
is not named the Beast is HQ124. Nicknaming's bad, causes confusion. That's part of my show. That's why I nickname him. Because astronomy is confusing. So if you don't understand everything and you aren't a little confused, then I'm not doing my job right. I'm like, oh, hey, Aristibo dude, what time is it passing by? He didn't have time to answer. Though that would have been a good simple answer for all people to kind of know when to look at the sky for anything weird or maybe push some space dust into falling stars. Anyway, so the media jumps on this story. I mean, look at all these headlines. Well, the name, the beast. I mean, everybody's in the beast, the beast, the beast. Not a single one of them mentions the fact that nobody official named it the beast. And some even said, hey, astronomers called it the beast. There's not a single fucking astronomer I saw that called it the beast, man. If you're going to credit me, at this point, you do have to credit me as a pseudo-astronomer. Or maybe I'm a pseudo-astronomer. It's a cross between Judo and Zeus. Okay, and for those people who will be like, you can't be Thor and no Zudo. That's Greek. Thor is Norse Old Germanic or White Mountains. Okay, and I'll say, I don't need the people who tell me that I cannot be a Norwegian Christian Jedi who has respect for all good myths. I don't need those people to tell me what I can and cannot do. Trust me. Okay, only God can judge. So STFU, G. Boop. Okay, so I'm just saying, look at how it takes off like wildfire. Look at how powerful the meme is in Tahui Land. Crazy, huh? Skynet. It's got you simple humans down pretty well. That's kind of scary, but it's Sunday, so I'm not worried. It's raining and it's pretty. Okay. I gotta be honest. I understand and respect. If you do not believe in God, you know, it's your own personal choice and nothing is more personal than one's belief in God or whatever created the universe, man. And there is just as little proof of dark matter as there is of God. So what I would offer you is proof... You would probably shake your head at it. Nope. And all the shit I ever hear about dark matter? It seems like there are some holes in the theory of gravity. And dark matter is a thing that explains the holes. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if you had a bank account and you put in a million dollars. You're supposed to sit in there. Somebody comes in and goes, hey, you know, $300,000 is gone. The person's like, yeah, I don't know what happened. We're pretty sure dark matter did it. You know? It's like, you're going to get some pocket protector pizza up to be like no we've got calculations that show exactly the dark matter is you know we got a new 50 million dollar telescope that it's gonna show us dark matter <laughs> yeah dude you give me 50 million dollar camera and um i'll give you three-dimensional jessica alba making out with natalie portman i don't know why that, that that was the first thing that popped in my mind i apologize and well the media is a beast and it's got moving parts and some of those moving parts breathe but most of them just copy and paste Asteroid 2014 Hummer Queen 124 Giant Asteroid Nicknamed the Beast By who? I don't know I digress Asteroids fucking zipping by